a previous Booster BIM video, I showed how to create beams based on edges of your model geometry and then store in the beam a unique identifier that can be later used to track which edge was used to create the beam. Now, I will explain how when the underlying edge geometry has changed, we can then use the API to run the following command and update the beam geometry. As you can see, the, both the curved and straight beams have both updated based on the changes to their edges. The code works as follows. We first are going to find all beams that have a value for their beam reference parameter. That is where the unique identifier for the edge is stored. We do this as follows. With a filtered element collector, find all family instances whose category is structural framing. And then I want to check that the beam reference parameter both exists, meaning the parameter will be not null, and that it has a value, which means that when we convert the parameter into a string value, that also will not be null. I've defined this parameter stable ref param inside my lambda expression, put the whole thing in these curly brackets to allow me to refer to stable ref param instead of repeating this twice. Once I've found those beams that have the parameter and that have a value for that parameter, I then proceed to extract the string value. I put it into a variable called stable ref and then use that value and the reference parse from stable representation method to find the reference that corresponds with that string. Once that reference has been found, I can then find the corresponding edge using get element and get geometry object from reference to find the edge. If the edge doesn't exist, we're going to maybe the edge was deleted. I'm going to mark that in this uh, counter that's called skipped counter and add that beam that's now been orphaned into a selection set so that it can be highlighted for the user. Proceeding with beams whose edges still do exist, we'll get the location of the beam, which will be a location curve because the beam is a curve-driven object. And then we'll set the curve of the beam's location curve to be equal to the curve of the edge. And finally, update a counter that is tracking how many beams were successfully updated. We commit the transaction and then present some information to the user about the number of beams that were skipped because the references no longer exist and the number of beams that were updated.